Number 11. Seattle Seahawks. Dion Butler. Dion, you're here today at the uh, 2009 NFL Players Premier photo shoot. How cool is it that you're going to be on your very first Upper Deck rookie card? That's amazing, man. Just to think, you know, I collected cards as a kid and now I have my very own and, you know, something that I can hand out to other people or, more importantly, the kids and, and fans can hand out and trade amongst each other. It's just crazy. So that's cool. You already talked about the fact that you were a collector at one point in time. Right. So let me ask you, do you have any rookie cards that you still cherish in that private collection? Uh, they, I haven't touched that collection in a while, but I know growing up, Deion Sanders, I had a, a card, a rookie card of him, and man, nice. I definitely kept that close to me. Let me ask you about autographs. Do you enjoy signing for the fans? Do you consider it an honor? Oh yeah, I definitely, I mean, when someone just, you know, appreciates you that much and the hard work that you do, I love it, you know, just be able to give back, and if it means that much to them just for me to sign my name and to interact and to get to know people, Definitely do it all, every time I get a chance. Let's talk about signing surfaces. Have you ever been asked to sign anything unusual, body parts included? I've, yeah, I've signed some crazy body parts. I've had people ask me to bring out my tights from a game, like my, my Under Armour spandex, and I don't even want to touch that. I don't know why they would want it. Like, fresh from the game, sweaty. So, um, yeah, I've done, I've done Gatorade bottles, basketball, just a lot of crazy stuff. Anything people can get their hands on right then and there. Game use memorabilia is a big deal. Yeah. Whose signature would you want if you could get it? Anybody out there. It doesn't have to be a football player. Anybody's signature? I probably want LeBron James' signature right now. Maybe we can work something out. He's an exclusive spokesman for Upper Deck. That's what's up. Let me ask you about um, autographs from other players. Um, you'd want to get LeBron James, but who do you have in your private collection, signature-wise? Signature-wise, I have Allen Iverson from growing up in the Virginia area, and Ronald Curry. I don't know if many people know, but he was a bad boy back in his day in high school, number one in football and basketball in the nation. So those are the two ones that I think I still have <laughs> that are up on my wall at home. Let me ask you about your college days. Is there one moment that you still you know, come away with with great fond memories of? From your college career? Uh, I think there'll probably be two, and that's um, actually, yeah, two. Uh, my senior day, uh, that was just an emotional day, you know, so, so long, play so long, and sure. for it to come to an end. And then there was probably the Orange Bowl, my first year. And uh, that was that was a big game in the three overtimes. It was a great feeling. Then probably a little add-on mention, the day I broke Bobby Ingram's record for career receptions was another great day. And now you're going to Seattle. Yeah, it's yeah. Coming yeah. full circle. Yeah. What about pregame rituals? Do you have any that you religiously follow every game day? Uh, it's kind of weird. I'll, I'll listen to like rap music to get hyped, but if it's a huge, big game, you know, say, you know, Ohio State, you know, for instance, I'll listen to like some some mellow like R and B because I'll just be so pumped up. I don't want to add more juice into the system, so I listen to oh, kind of yeah. calm myself down. So it's kind of weird how I do that. But if I'm feeling real too pumped up, I'll just play some R and B, kind of settle down and relax. Next question is about the transition, making it from college to the pros. What do you see as your biggest challenge? Uh, just learning, you know, to read defenses on the fly. I mean, I think that's one of my strengths that I'm able to learn on the fly, but it's a totally different ball game when you have so many route adjustments off of so many things. In college, it's kind of, you got one route, and that might be one more change to it. That's it. Now you have three or four different options, and sure. so I think that will be one of the biggest things. Why were you the most valuable rookie here today? Theon, elaborate and don't be bashful. Oh, just because, I mean, I'm a student of the game. Um, and I've always kind of been in the underdog role, so I kind of start here again. But I'm a student of the game. All I do is make plays and, you know, be productive. That's all I did in my f four years at Penn State. I don't really plan on changing it now. You know, just come into the system, learn, and just be productive. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right.